Okay, let's continue. Um, go here and take the slab. Let's draw a slab. So um, now we're going to draw curtain walls. Let's put this to 20 meters. Now clear everything and change this to six, fixed size, 200. 150 There you are Use the mullion There you are, so um, change this into a main panel and go to the main panel and activate this here. Once you've done that, um, come back here and draw it like this flip there you are Let's bend it, let's curve like that and this is the reference or come back, let's change this to 112. Okay, it's okay, and now let's curve it. There you are. Nice. Um, so this is floating a bit. Maybe we need to increase the height to something like 2300. And now we need um, a view. Let's move this one a bit here. Like that and open it. Then select this one and bring it down a bit. That's good. And now, um, okay. If we look at in three D, our frames, our frames, are inside the column. Okay, but we need it to follow this geometry. To do so, um, we need to add more menus here at the curtain wall. So um, 
I go to toolbars toolbars here I will create a new menu I will add uh, we go to design curtain wall okay and I will add a new menu I call this boundary now I am inside the boundary and here I will select all comments by our uh, alphabetical order and I will use this one redefined boundary from fill add it now I come back then we'll need to put this one here that's it and now um, I will need to draw uh, with the fill tool here I need to follow this geometry Just use a line like that. There you are. So now um, let's bring it a bit inside. Let's say twelve point five. Okay. And uh, with uh, our fill tool selected, go to here, and here's the menu we just create and uh, click on our curtain wall and you see it follows our geometry come back come back come back um, again we need to curve this here Okay, and do it again. Boundary, redefine. There you are. Okay. Now come back here. Then as you can see, the curtain wall is exactly following uh, uh, our feel okay so when that is done we just need to create many copies control u this is gonna be 14 there you are Okay, now we're going to do for here. Um, for this one, let's create a new curtain wall. Clear everything and um, Okay, 
just okay so um I'm going to draw it like that okay maybe we need to flip it flip and here put this to zero that's it okay and let's see it here okay so um we need another view yes this one here So, we need a specific curtain wall, like that, okay, I will use, um, okay, the guidelines, and I will draw lines like this, and I will make uh, multiple copies okay that's not good come back again control U and rotate to path maybe 4 degrees okay Okay, so um, now this will be the frames of uh, this curtain wall here. So um, first thing I'm going to do is I select this and I need to add um, this here main panel. I go here, it's already activated. Okay. There you are. Then we'll need to use the fill tool to follow this geometry. Okay, um, this year, yeah, that's perfect. And <laughs> uh, put it inside, like we did. Let's offset all edges, 12.5. Then now uh, select this. Cutting wall boundary redefine. Day one. 
go to 3D to see the result. This is it. Now what's left to do is the um, go here. Now we need to uh, trace all of the frames. Okay. So um, let me draw it. Make sure we have the mullion frame here. Then you draw it one by one. Okay. Okay, and uh, maybe we'll add uh, some horizontal, or let's just create it from here. Ah, I have no measure there, so just need to. Draw it like this, and another one here. There you are. Okay. See. So now we just make a copy. Drag it from this one to here. There you are. Okay. So um, that's how to do it. And to create the openings on this, you just need to go to edition mode. Then you can delete panels. You can move uh, those um, frames huh? okay that's how to create them and um, and besides you need to create holes here too okay and okay let's create that hole together <laughs> 